What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we got the new kit on the block. We got the Tough Built Stack Tech Modular Tool System. If you're new to the channel, then you won't know that I am a Milwaukee fanboy. I am a pack out guy. I'm a power tool guy. Like Milwaukee is my jam. I don't I don't care. It is what it is. I even got a stupid flag in my garage. But when I saw this thing circulating on the internet a few weeks ago, I just thought to myself I had to get my hands on it for whatever reason. Something intrigued me, you know. I do have a couple of the, the, the clip tech systems by Tough Belt. They have the little gimmicky knives and all that stuff. But for whatever reason, this thing just came out of left field. Nobody's seen it coming. And then the drop next year is what's even more intriguing. That's really where they're gonna probably, you know, elevate themselves. But being a pack out junkie. I just had to get my hands on this and that's kind of rare to say for me because I dog all the other systems, but the stack pack, snack pack. No, I like snack pack. Why can't you just give me a snack pack? The flex one didn't intrigue me. Ryubi, the 2.0 tough system. None of those were really like, oh man, that's so innovative and new. This, for whatever reason, it did. So there's some flaws in this thing, I will say that I've been messing around with a little bit, not too deep, so I can't give everything, haven't even put it on a job site yet, but it might sway you one way or then. It might sway you one way or another. So, stay tuned. We go take a look at this whole thing, kind of go box for box, a quick overview, and we'll just see, you know, you make your own decision at the end of the video. But, let's get started. So this stuff is available now at Lowe's. I'll put a link in the description. That way you can go buy more, save more. One thing I will say is they're gonna be releasing like 200 plus like accessories and other type of tools next year. And they got like some crazy stuff. You can look it up, man. Like um, I'll try to put a link to the tool guides, like blog on there. It's pretty sick. They got some really innovative stuff coming out. Just to show you how this one releases. Now the Milwaukee pack out, you push up here. You know, we're used to, to that and then pulling the, the cleats out. The stack tech, you just press the lever down and it's out. You can see it the way it's angled there, just kind of slide it in and it locks in. So really, like again, that's just stupid simple. To open the top, you just pull it. There's no latch like the other ones. You'll just lift it up and then it's just fric friction fitted. Again, push down. But it's weird because you're used to like this, so you just have to do it like that. And then you got all your organizers. It comes with the dividers already in, set in place for you. Um, it's got a stupid, like you can see the the lip, this plastic lip here, and this gasket here. It's really thick. I'm not sure what the rating is 100% on like the pack out of it's like IP. 64 or 65 or 56 but this is waterproof not water resistant water and dust resistant so but yeah that's your parts organizer but really for like comparison's sake in terms of size you can see really it's kind of like it is, it is bigger and beefier but like i said this is a muscle memory pool and it just goes this just kind of get used to that if you're gonna decide to potentially switch you can see the the difference in size there kind of which you know it could be a problem because how slim this is the way i have it organized in my truck i have a certain layout that it kind of needs to be a little bit slimmer and not stick out as far you can see it definitely adds additional length because i almost have this like against the door it's pretty comical how it fits inside the lid of the tough build The first drawback I'm gonna make a note of is when you go to unlatch with something on top, you're not able to access the box in any type of way. So if you're in the middle of a stack and you need to get to something, you're not gonna be able to do it. For example, inside the pack out one, I have this one in my side drawer. All you have to do is kind of lift and you'll able to do drill bits and stuff like that to where if the stack tech is inside of your stack, you're not gonna be able to utilize a function like that again nice latching system right here you got your handle typical ammo style 
handle right there. It's nice that it kind of just tucks right away inside of there. So inside your can, got your literature, whatever. Comes with a tray. It fits in there really nice and tight, honestly. Like it's a good fitting tray. I don't use them too much, but I'm sure just the way this is kind of like angled like that, there's gonna be a purpose for that. Um, Cause like ergonomically it doesn't feel weird. But, um, I did try to lay the red pieces in there. I mean, why the hell not? But it's a, it wouldn't fit. It's a different size. The Milwaukee insert is a little bit wider, but this thing is beefy. Like there's not, oh, watch them fingers. Not a whole lot of flex to that thing. Um, but it's like got the same style. You can relocate all those the way you would want to. It definitely is a little bit taller than the ammo can from Milwaukee, but they did a good job. I actually, like this is a really, like I said, it's sleek, it's heavy, it's t built tough, you could say. Here we have another organizer. It's like their large parts organizer. It's not like your regular profiled Milwaukee one, because you know, Milwaukee has the slim, the regular, and then the large. But again, you got your large latch right there. I mean, this thing is like, I mean, it feels pretty freaking solid. Like I don't foresee a lot of, like it's, 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 it's solid stuff. You know, it's not, we'll have to drop a brick on it to see how it really holds up. Um, more literature, Let's get that out the way. But, but you can see, this divider section is not, you can't put it here in the middle and put the bins up front. It has to be in the front. That's where the, like the locking mechanism or the tongue and groove type spot is. These are kind of just like similar to Milwaukee's where it's got the two lo locking points where you can mount it on like your, your uh, workbench or something like that. But what's really cool with this also is all these boxes, except there's ammo cans have like a metal reinforcement here which is really nice. I mean, this probably adds a little bit of weight, but it makes it more robust. This seal is like ridiculously thick and it's got a nice lip here that the whole gasket just seeps right into. And then you can hear that gasket, that air, that, that pressure uh, inside of there. And again, the latch. I really wish that latch would have been metal. I think it would just made it that much more sturdy. They all have three points of contact there. OSHA approved uh, contacts on each side and in the front. Uh, all but the ammo can organizer, like the half organizer and the, the crate have that feature, which is really nice. Simple. Oh. Might, it just gets ready to reset itself. And we got the crate. Again, like what's really nice about this system is it's just all straight and streamlined. So it makes it really functional if you're gonna put it in a spot where everything you you know, like the Milwaukee has some different curvatures to it and stuff like that. Now this is just a crate, nothing crazy about it. Again, nice and square, but it's very, very rigid and a little bit of flex there. Nothing like you're not gonna go crazy. Like that's much, much thicker. You can see the bottoms on these things, how they got the webbing on it. That way it kind of restructures it, makes it really nice. Got those metal points all the way across. <clears throat> uh, everything is stamped inside the box with the model number. That makes it stupid easy. Like, I guess if for the parts are interchangeable between or whatever, if you call customer service right here, it's gonna have all your box dimensions. I think that's just nice that they did that. It just makes it really easy. Again, when you're in the store and you're looking at like, What's the capacity? This, that, and the third. 50 pounds. Okay, now we know. But you got yourself a crate. So so let's get right into what your main stack is going to be, is what you're going to want to start with. This stack here is $199. So I know Milwaukee's promotion for Christmas is going to be $219 for the same configuration here, like for the Christmas. It used to be $199 inflation. But um, again, these boxes are made in China. Those boxes are made in Israel. Um, Whatever that may mean, that's what it means. But you got your regular briefcase style box here, your large box, and then your large rolling box. Um, that, I mean, it's just, 
a cool feature. Like how easy is that? Again, I want to reiterate, you cannot get to this bottom box in any type of fashion, which I mean, to me, it's a negative. That's a big negative. If you can't get to the bottom, like if you just have this up, I mean, it's not a new thing to take that off, you know, but still kind of would be nice. Drawback, drawback, just remember that. But let's look at this, this box here. You got four locking points here, here and here. And what's really cool, we'll talk about it real quick, is you can put these on any type of way. You can put them on backwards, you can put them on, which, which will be nice once they start to release the drawers. That'll really help out for configuration purposes. I think it'll be really nice. Um, so yeah, but again, your latch. Again, you got that metal bar here, that reinforcement, which is really nice. You can see your locking point is on the side of these here. You get four bins, one with dividers. One thing I will say, is that these dividers don't seat fully like they could have probably there's negative space in the back of it where they could have utilized some more nitpicking there yes sure um and then they got this which i don't really care for like the opening mechanism but it's just you know a clear top which is cool it's nice they give you four instead of just two or whatever but you know it's nice big open briefcase style box the way I would do it is put a set of drills in there, all your bits and everything. That's how I have that set up on my Milwaukee. Got your handles here that have positive stops. Uh, the front does not, I mean, it kind of locks, but it's not as positive there. And you got it there as well. Next up, we got the, the large box here. Um, I, really, I really just like that mechanism. It's really nice. It's really simple. It's really easy just to get used to large box bam just kind of shows you everything that it does nice simple fast latching rigid construction big handle in the front same as the other boxes it's got that metal reinforcement there it doesn't go all the way around or on the bottom just at the top stupid large gasket fantastic comes with another tray which is cool um it doesn't slide and i don't believe the like milwaukee's does either big open empty box looks like at some point they'll have some dividers or you can put a piece of quarter inch ply or something in there to make it yourself um, seats in there you could put the other trays that come from the other box if you don't want to utilize it in there you can put it right in here um, now we can get into the rolling box it's got your large rubber wheels here they're not like that plastic it's got like a rubber coating on it which is really nice positive stop handles um, large latch handle locking points here and here which so that'll be really cool got your model number there Let's see. there's some videos of the wheels kind of like camming sure, my project is sacred i spent twenty thousand on six of my ass but uh so far nothing it's got a 250 pound weight capacity so we'll have to test that out we'll do some rigorous testing on this stuff i'm gonna throw it off my roof the door does lock in that position and again, it's just a large box, large opening. It does give you a little bit more space. Um, if I'm not mistaken, maybe the Tough System is the only one that doesn't have the wheel hubs in there, but it does give you a lot more space in the pack out rolling box. Again, you got that metal reinforcement there, large gasket, which I think is, it's a really nice feature. Now we'll get into the feature that everybody's been griping about. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like pack out said they're gonna start making the rolling box with the removable handle now. All their drawers are gonna have the dividers in them, things like that. But this is already done because everybody's been asking for it. I think Flex is doing it. I don't know if Ryobi is, but uh, the mod box from Klein is. One thing I will say is that handle's very narrow. Uh, the Milwaukee one is much wider, gives you much more, uh, whatever, service area to grab onto. But it's sturdy, it's rigid. Same locking mechanism as the Milwaukee. But one thing that I don't like is they do have these, yes, but they're just plastic. And I feel like that's just gonna wear. And I don't know how, like, it's got a nice positive stop for now, but I don't know how long that's really gonna hold up. Now for me, I don't need to take that off. I have a work van, so I don't have a truck with a cover on the back. 
so that's not really going to affect me that much but i think that's if those were like some metal latches that would have been an upgrade or it would have made more sense maybe so on the locking mechanisms i would have preferred them to see go with uh some metal instead of just some plastic all you have to do is lock unlock and it comes right on out again it's, it's really beefy it's got these positive stops here and here so when you do reinsert it that's where it stops right inside the wheel and you lock it in but i will say the the rubber over molding on the plastic on the, all the handles it does feel really good i mean it's just allows for more of a premium feel now what i was talking about earlier i was mentioning they got these little rubber feet right here which is really nice it adds so when you do have weight inside this box and you're leaning it back this handle is going to flex one way or another but what it does it doesn't allow it to flex so much and and then if you got like when you have it raised up and you have your ammo cans on top it'll actually just sit right inside that groove so when the weight i don't know if it was designed that way but i would think it makes sense for it to be like that which is pretty cool again you can configure these in any orientation if you wanted to go that way for whatever reason um that could be something you wanted to do overall i think it's a great system if you're looking to get into a system and it fits your budget and you like this better than Milwaukee or Flex or Tough System, et cetera, et cetera, then by all means, I think it is a very viable option. I really like it, but the biggest flaw, major flaw, and I don't even know how this thing made it into production with it like this, is when you take this crate and you go on two halves, it doesn't lock in which absolutely made no sense to me because a lot of the time your crate is going to be on top. I'm not saying every time because on the Milwaukee, you can stack on top of the crate just like you can with this. You can stack, but you have to be level. That's probably going to be a deal breaker for a lot of people or they just won't utilize this box. It doesn't matter because it's still a great system without it. But again, you're not going to be able to take any halves and go below it with a full size organizer box anything like that now maybe they'll come out with something that's like a plate or you know they should 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 have been thought through in the r d uh section of before they released it but overall i think this is a great box again if you're going to get into a, a system and you don't have one yet i think this is a great option right now uh especially the promising 2024 that they have that outlook looks ridiculously good so Stay tuned for more videos on the Stack Tech. I'm going to be doing some testing, loading it out, and everything like that. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all don't mind, smashing that like button, subscribing if you haven't. All my subscribers, y'all already know. I appreciate y'all, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Later.